what is up you guys and of course welcome for another video from me chris the scarander and today we're going against another top five video and basically this is gonna be my last top five video before omega ruben alpha safari is released so a little disclaimer as always you know these are obviously opinion based on my personal experiences and these out with these guys that are going to include in the list are Pokemon that I like a lot, but the game have treated them very badly, and uh, they've been bad for quite some time for different reasons. And uh, I really wanted to put down a list where I just talk about the meta game. These Pokemon are Pokemon that I feel are they are bad for the wrong reasons and being shoved aside because of that. And a few of these guys actually got. Um, sometimes in the spotlight, but um, lose momentum as the years went on. So, uh, with that in mind, guys, this is my top five Pokémon that should have been better. Number five, Sand Slash. So this Pokémon is definitely like a special case because this is, you know, the Generation One Pokémon that, you know, these guys really started it all. And uh, getting Sand through way in Pokémon Blue, I think that is 19 years ago. That is just insane. But this Pokemon really, really worked, and it worked against, of course, the Electric Gym. It was a, definitely a, a very fun time. Sasha was actually really, really good in first generation. Had some issues with common moves, you know, water and grass. But really, it pulls through through the game, and really had some good stats to boot it. But then, throughout three genera generations, it just didn't cut it. And uh, I think the reason for that was it didn't really get any attractive moves. It only had like the boot, of course, it stabbed Earthquake and got Rock Slide, which they are, those two are good combos. But then again, you can't really deal with things in the future, and um, it just barely cuts it, it really does. And uh, I mean, throughout the generation, it got worse and worse. I mean, Generation 3, it was basically forgotten because of the Swampert. And in Generation 5, I think it got some momentum with being both getting access to Stealth Rocks and Knock Off. Which are two very nice moves, but it still couldn't cut it, and Sand Rush might have helped it a bit, but it was still too weak for the meta game. And a special defense with 55 base, it's it's not gonna cut it, and this Pokemon was forgotten yet again. And in this generation, it's still just it's a spinner at best. And I think that really really sucks for it because I like the sign a lot and I like the Pokemon a lot. And I really believe that this thing should gotta make evolution. Or anything, you know, to make it work more properly. Because in Generation 2, this thing effectively got, you know, um, walled out by Dawn fans. And, and Dawn fan is now in UU, and Sandslash is, which by design is very much like Dawn fan, is still not there because it doesn't lack, or it does lack the priority Ice Shot. It doesn't actually don't have any priority whatsoever. It got Endure, and it doesn't really have the speed to deal with that. And making a part of a Sand team really, really limits your. Um, your accessibility for it so this Pokemon should definitely have been better I'm really sad to see that it hasn't been working out at all for the generation and being one of my favorites really makes this Pokemon a really sad reminder that the first generation Pokemon might not have been all of them might not have been that good out to be honest and uh, that is why it is on the number five spot number four Pangoro so yeah, this Pokemon had like issues from the get-go, I can't really stress that enough. Pangoro, you know, being super, super, super strong with 120-ish base on attack, and, you know, getting some decent, decent bulk and has a huge chunk of HP, it by default should work, right? It is the typing that kind of cuts it off. I mean, dark fighting, I mean, we have Scrafty from the previous generation, and it barely cut it, and now with a 4 times weakness to Fairy, and not being slow or fast enough to cope with that, really puts this Pokemon at a huge, huge disadvantage. 58 in base stats really, really kills it, and <laughs> it's, it's incredible how much of a screw up this Pokemon became because of that, because it got Iron Fist and only got Poison Jab to boost that, luckily you know, in the next installment here of Omega Ruben Alpha Zephyr, it does get Rain Punch and Elemental Punches, which is great, but it's one year too late. It even gets Focus Punch, so it could go nicely for, you know, a Sub Punch set, but it's not gonna cut it in the long run, it really doesn't, so I really feel for this Pokémon, because the most sets we're seeing with this thing are with Scarf, and really, it barely cuts the mark when it comes to Scarf, because it's still too slow to be able to deal with, you know, the higher tier 
of fairy pokes and you know overall like any fighting pokemon can actually deal with this really properly so this thing is left to the dust and it's such a good design but it's left like the capabilities of an ancient slaves and it really sucks for it because i really think this pokemon was had such a great design and such a good idea kung fu panda and still sucks really i feel for you pangoro i hope things turns around for you i really do Number 3, Torterra. This guy is really a special case because I really believe its previous evolutions are better than the full evolution. And that's be it's because of one reason, it's because of the freaking 4x weaknesses like his voice. And really, Ice is such a common move and you don't want to have that in a starter Pokemon, you really don't because this Pokemon is the one you should carry throughout the game. And it should be able to, you know, help you out. And, you know, going to Elite Four with that issue is... It's gonna be terrible. He got a lot of common weaknesses too, like Fire, and he got weakness to Bug, which you turns on our real big thing. And, of course, Flying is very, very common in the metagame. So, it has a lot of issues, and I really don't believe it can cut it. Even in Generation 4, it barely stood a chance against common threats. And in Generation 5, let's not even talk about that. And in Generation 6... I've seen this Pokemon around, yes, but no, it it is awful. It sell is too awful to work, and um, really, really, the stats are so good that I really believe that it went with Rock instead of uh, Ground. It would have worked much better because then we just have the Cradley weaknesses, which is kind of fine because it can actually cope with that. It got special defense. I mean, it got 85 in special defense and a 105 in defense in base stats. Which is really good, and it's a slow Pokemon, which means it can utilize curves really well. And I really believe that this thing should have been much better than it became. It's now basically a Pokemon you throw out to, you know, show your opponent that, hey, I, I dare to use this Pokemon. And really, no. It is a very sad proof to know that Torterra, one of the coolest Pokemon designs ever, was thrown aside and basically become the laughing stock of the Grass Pokemon status. And I should really mention the original Pokemon too, or the, the previous evolution, Grotal, because Grotal is a much better Pokemon. It basically with Evil Eye get as much bulk, but doesn't have the four time weaknesses, which means that that Pokemon by default is kind of much better, and it can utilize curses perfectly and got a huge chunk of HP. So when you know that your previous evolution might be better, then you're doing something wrong, you really are. And really, Torterra, wow, you should have been an amazing bulky grass Pokemon, but you ended up being just another laughing stock and pretty much are included in the Dragon Slayer family. So yeah. I mean I should mention that one of the biggest issues because I really want to use this Pokemon on my own. And being that its main teammates has to be a water Pokemon to wall out ice. And now the freeze dry are introduced means that it only can rely on an iron type. And we got no pure iron types that can deal with that properly. And in the higher tiers, who the hell cares about Torterra? I'm sorry guys, Torterra, you should really have been better. You really should have. That designed and... Oh, I'm actually genuinely disappointed about this Pokemon. And I hope it turns around for it. Number 2. Solarock. Let's go back to a time where... Me... The young Skyrender, 13 years old, playing a Ruby for the first time, finds a Soul Rock and see that it got levitated. Wow, this thing could really work. And then finding out it is only appreciating stats or physical stats, but only learns special moves besides the Stone Edge and the Rock Slide. And really finding that out that this Pokemon was, from the get go, useless. Just broke my heart. It, it really did. Solrock, together with Lunatune, I guess you'd say, has a very special case with them. They're go both sharing the same type of typings, and um, Lunatune being more special based really helps it a lot. It really can, you know, do a fair amount of damage. And then we got Solrock, which got good special attack moves, doesn't really have any special attack. I mean, he got access to Flamethrower, Fire Blast, Overheat, yeah. He's got it, like, none of those got Asian power, of course, or power gem, which seems really weird. Uh, the only stab moves he got are the physical rock, which, it works in his favor, 
but no, it, it's not worth the hassle. Solrock is now basically become the worst offender of trying to utilize his movesets. I think Solrock could have worked better in the long run, maybe? But as it stands right now, it's extremely lacking, and it doesn't really have any special defense, you know, being able to wall out go for call mines, because 95 in attack, it's it's pretty darn nice, and uh, it, you know, you have to, with the new mutators, going for a Zen headbutt, of course, to, you know, get the stab from the Psychic type, but really, why does this Pokemon learn Flame Charge? He got access to will wisp so you could basically go for a special defense set, then go for a Willow to shut down the physical side, but then again, the special defense is not that great. It it basically dies because of the fault of it. So we basically have a Pokemon that barely, barely can work, and I really mean barely, probably not working at all. And I think the funniest sets I've seen are, you know, Smackdown, Earthquake, to be able to cover it grounds and then explode because it obviously isn't working. But that is as far as it goes, and really, this Pokemon should have been so much better. And it's just ending up being the laughing stocks of the Pokemon that it should have become. And I think, has the, had it had the same type of basis as Lunatune, it might actually have been worthwhile, because it could have worked great in a Sun team, but now it just... <laughs> it just sucks. And I really feel for it, because I liked the design so much, and I wanted to use it so bad, what is that, like 12 years ago, or 13 years ago, something like that. I really want to use this Pokemon so bad, and it couldn't even... You know, the first gym I went in, it just got smashed. And I tried next gym, and it got smashed. And against wild Pokemon, smashed. It, it tore my heart out, it really did. And it didn't deserve all the, all the design and all the thoughts going into it, when it barely works as a Pokemon. And now, three generations later, and it still doesn't cut it. It sucks. Oh, it's so sad too. I really believed that this Pokemon would have worked, and I really thought when I caught it that it was a fire rock with levitate, and it was a psychic rock. It's not a bad thing, but man, getting them stabs going, it might have been one of the coolest pokes introduced, and now it's just a forgotten Pokemon, and it's not getting a mega evolution this generation too, which means that it is left in the dust. And I'm not gonna dust it off. May you die in peace, Soul Rock. May you die in peace. Now to the number one Pokemon that should have been better, that's gonna be... Heavyglazer! <laughs> and with that strange introduction, I'm just gonna, you know, just go right on at it. This Pokemon has never worked. It, it was been a punching bag in Generation 1, it's been a punching bag in Generation 2, it's been a punching bag in Generation 3. And once Generation 4 got introduced, it got really... Really much like a punching bag, and I mean, it just was ripped apart in Generation 5 came in, getting it access to Stealth Rock, so it definitely, definitely didn't serve any purpose whatsoever in any team whatsoever. It... Really? I can't stress this enough. Wigglytuff has been one of the worst Pokemons from generation to generation. And it's not necessarily been a bad thing about it, but the thing is that it looks so freaking cute. It's one of these cutie Pokemons that you kind of want to work, you kind of feel bad for it because it's being ripped to shreds. And I mean, it paid a lot of homage to uh, Clefable for generations to come. Clefable being way, way better with defenses over HP. And I think it worked in its favor. It got access to Call Minds and, you know, moves along like that. And um, I think, you know, Wigglesuff never really got the abilities needed to, you know, being able to work, this thing basically needs filters to work properly. But then, a shining light came through. It was 2013. And uh, I remember, the, I think it was February, Fur type was introduced, and with a picture of Willy Tuff. And we didn't know what that meant for it. And now I do. It's still a normal type. It can't do the same thing that the Fable is doing, which is being able to wall out its most common counter, which being in fighting, it's now it's neutral damage and it doesn't have the bulk for it, which means that it's still just a, a, a weekly freaking death hit every time. You know, when I say this thing, I'm just thinking of Smash Brothers and I'm basically thinking about, you know, a smash that you make Jigglypuff scream yilly and die. <sighs> weekly tough, why? Why can't you work? And I really think that Game Freak got like, it is, it is like a running gag for them at this point. 
it just they don't want to they don't care for if, if it's gonna work it's and i think that's the issue with a lot of generation one pokemons that they weren't necessarily made for um being competitive plays a lot of pokemon got around to it sure but the way that definitely shows as a pokemon that was inferior to uh, the fable family and they basically have the same cutie things going for it you very scary eyes i guess you could tell <laughs> really but you know in this generation generation six of course when it got introduced it got competitive with race, a special attack by two stages if and then the other um, stats are lowered. And that sounds fine and dandy when you... But then you go through stats and find out that... Pff, it can't really utilize it. It got 85 special attack and yeah, that is nice. It's, it is a good special attack. But again, you got 45 defenses and 50 special defense. I mean, that is level Pikachu HP defenses right there. And the HP, 140. Pretty darn nice, but it's basically just a uh, um, a bait for any elite seeder to come in and you know feed on your grasping life that you're trying to hold on for your dear life, and of course brain punch and every other drain attack. Just going to nom nom that sweet ass right off the bat of the word. It's I really feel for this Pokemon because it should have been so much better had it not kept the normal typing. It might actually have been working, but no. It needs to be normal. Why? Why did you go the route? Why? I'm seriously asking why? It could have actually been so much better, but instead it's still just as bad. And the worst part of it is that it's still our freaking punching bag. And the next generation got introduced and no Mega Pokemon for it, obviously. And it's gonna, you know, keep the same kind of issues throughout this generation. Which means that... God, it's it's dead by default. It, it can't be saved. As it stands right now, it's it's the um, Achilles heel of every team made because you can't you can't help it become better. You can't really do anything about it. And if if you know your op opponent has Drain Punch, Giga Drain, or Lead Siege, you lost. You gotta have to fire off your Wigglytuff real early to make sure that they don't recover back on. And really, if you create a team of six, do you really want to have a team of five because of quite moves that can dent your team? No, you don't. So, Wigglytuff is a gimmick, yes. And that is as far as it goes, which is awful. And I hate this Pokemon because of that, because this should have been so much better. It really should have been. So, yeah, guys, that's my take on this list. And uh, yeah, this is definitely my last list before the Omega Ruben Alpha Sapphire coming out. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. It's it's been a list that you know it's been biting me back and forth. I really thought that I should do it, but then again, I don't know you people are gonna enjoy it. But I think I got a few of you guys to be thinking. You know, hopefully, you know you're gonna see these guys around anyway. And if you have a different opinion or Pokemon that you really believe should have been better, make sure to write it down below as always. And uh, with that in mind, guys, thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day and take care, alright? Bye.